just give it to me like that. What the hell? I'm sorry to ask this so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Okay. Uh, you and all of us, or just him? Just him for now. Oh. What come did I do wrong? To the student council room. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him? Eh, probably big, important student council business. Maybe, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Uh oh. Ah, you worry too much. Well, guess we might as well head home. Hey, wait this a sec, already? Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to take over cleaning duty. Have fun sweeping the hallway. What? Since when? Sorry, that's fucked up. You're not gonna There's help something him? something you have to know. You brought it up, bro. You have to help now. Do you remember Chidori, the girl who was with Strega? Mm-hmm. I don't mean to alarm you, but the truth is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. <gasps> Chidori is still alive? I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die with our own eyes. However, a few days later, her body began to undergo transmogrification. For the past few weeks, she's been in a sort of stasis, neither living nor dead. How is that possible? I don't know. It may be related to her persona's abilities, but that's mere speculation. Oh, shit. The reason I wanted to talk to you is... Her persona does deal with life essence. How do you think we should tell Iori? You see, she's probably... Yes, it's me. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's hard to believe, but... It seems that Chidori really has come back to life. Did, did I hear that right? Yori? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She's currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But... Iori... She probably... Shidori. Shidori's alive? I'm surprised he didn't run out immediately. What? Hey, Junpei! What about your cleanup duty? Jeez, you gotta do it now, bro. That's what happens when you bring it well, up, bro. I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's for the best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this, too. Could I ask you to come along? Hey. We all decided to go to Tatsumi Memorial Hospital together. Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kinda... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to charge in. I agree. Go on, Iori. You go in too. What the hell? <laughs> I feel like I'm invading. Why are you here too? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be yelling in front of Our you. Our damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. <gasps> She's completely she healed! She's not Is cursed really anymore! You? I'm not dreaming. By her persona. Am I? Dreaming? She'll actually live a full life. <laughs> it's true. It is you. Chidori. Uh, who are you? Huh? W what? I thought so. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. 
I had a feeling this might be the case. Oh, and since they lack the this potential, they don't know about the Dark Hour. Yurikun. They were your friends last year. Friends? <sighs> My name is Jidori Yoshino. I'm sorry. It hasn't quite hit me yet, but I guess I don't remember anything of the past few years. It's like I was having a really long dream. Jidori Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... <sighs> Iori. Nah. I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about the fighting and the suppressants. When you're having a nightmare, it's better to be able to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. Oh my gosh. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted to make him happy. And I... I think... There were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori! Take it easy. Don't force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she can remember that part clearly, then maybe... <gasps> Do you remember how she'd occasionally use her power to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Iorikun would visit. And she would always spend more time on the flowers she received from you, Iorikun. She never even looked at me when I brought them in, though. <laughs> now I see. Sundari asks. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. I ended up keeping them all for my research. But after the autopsy, I... Put them all on her chest as a tribute. Now that I think about it, that must have been the night she began to transmogrify. The power the to powers. share one's life with others. Could she have reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Oh shit, Jumbo, well, you actually no saved her in a way then. But compared to her previous state, she's changed. Ooh, and we told her to bring her flowers! Was part of it, but furthermore... Excuse me? Are you talking about me? Whoa! We were talking about how you want to live now. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have oh to my god, the my depression's gone. I don't have time to lie in bed forever. Supposing you do find him, what will you do after that? Well... <sighs> that's none of your business. Chidori. The strength of two hearts connected brought about a miracle. Or rather. Holy a shit. No. <laughs> Chidori. So it is actually hey. very important that you ask him to bring the Why flowers. Because if he doesn't bring the flowers, she doesn't put energy into them. It. And then when she dies, I, she doesn't get the energy back. I've, I've never been so happy in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, somebody give him a hug or something. Put your hand on his back. <laughs> Have some self control now. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hmm? I was like, who? What was that? I thought it was Shidori. That's so beautiful, bruh. Oh my goodness. Hell yes. Oh, welcome back. Aw, oh, Ken, you missed it, bro. That shit was... Damn, bruh. The flowers actually saved her life, Junpei. That's all you, brother. That's all you. <laughs> come here, bro. Come here, bro. Yeah, come here, dude. 
It's the best day of my entire life. Oh, Junpei! I'm sorry, brother. <sighs> I was so sad seeing Junpei like that back then. I'm so happy for him. Um... <laughs> sorry. Every time I think about it, I start to tear up. Yo. Now, Junpei's got all the more reason to give it, all, to give it his all. No way he'll let us lose. Very intriguing. It's beautiful how two people care so much about one another. That shit is magical, bro. Oh my goodness. All right. The Kirijo group will protect her with all the resources at its command. Oh my gosh! That's us. Oh yeah, bro. What a beautiful ending, bro. Oh my goodness. Yo, we gotta treat Junpei, man. This is something to celebrate. We gotta take them out to eat. We gotta take them both out to eat, bro. Oh, bro. We don't all go to Hakagure tonight. 